Three days after a Seattle police cruiser hit and killed a young woman in a crosswalk, the department acknowledged many questions about the tragedy. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Rose. And I'm Hannah Ken, but the police department still refuses to say more about the incident, including how fast that officer was driving at the time. Fox 13's Nia Wong has reviewed a minute by minute timeline of events Monday night, including police radio traffic, Nia, in those moments. This is such a horrific and heartbreaking situation, and the audio we have gives us a closer look into what happened that night. But we do have to warn you, some of it may be disturbing. I'm holding a precedence one call at 708 6 North. There's an overdose and fires now en route. The Seattle Police Department says one of their officers was responding to a priority one call on Monday night. Seattle Police classify this as the highest priority call. But when the fire department dispatches this call, it does not mention any type of threat. This will be in front of this address for a 28-year-old male possible overdose. SVD is responding. You can hear the dispatcher describe the subject as alert and responsive. The person overdosing is calling it in himself. His name is Alex. He's refused to give the rest of his name. He wants to stay on the phone with us until officers arrive. A minute later, tragedy strikes. Start fire for a struck pedestrian. Dispatch then asks the officer if they're at the location where the overdose call is based. The same location, 7086 North. Negative. I'm going to be on Aurora. The officer is not on Aurora. They initially seem confused as to where they are. Not long after, a correction is made where they confirm they're on Thomas and Dexter. On Tuesday afternoon, SPD originally said the officer was responding at the request of the Seattle Fire Department. Ten minutes later, they release an updated statement saying the officer was responding with the fire department. Seattle PD has not revealed the name of the officer. We only know they've been with SPD for three years. But through a GoFundMe, we are learning more about Janavi Kandula, the woman that SPD hit and killed. The GoFundMe says the Northeastern University student leaves behind her single mother who is a teacher in India. This online fundraiser has now surpassed its goal to financially help Kandula's family. We reached out to SDOT for a history of crashes at this intersection. They tell us that before Janavi Kandula's death, there were no reports of cars hitting pedestrians at this location since January 2018. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour on Dexter Avenue North and 20 miles per hour on Thomas Street. Fox 13 asked SPD on Wednesday if the responding officer had their lights and sirens on, as well as how fast they were driving, only to be told they can't answer those questions right now. We reached out again to the Seattle Police Department on Thursday for another update, and they sent us this statement in part. For purposes of both preserving the integrity of the investigation and respecting the family's right to privacy, we'll not be putting out information over and beyond what has already been provided. We'll provide all publicly releasable information, including the report, once we are able to do so and in consultation with the family. We extend our deepest condolences to Ms. Condola's family and friends. This incident is a terrible tragedy for everyone involved. Meanwhile, Janavi's family tells us her mother's hopes and dreams are cut short, saying in part, we are truly heartbroken. Janavi was a brilliant student with a bright future. Janavi's smile was radiant, and her bubbly personality warmed the hearts of every person she came in contact with. Detectives from the Traffic Collision Investigation Squad are leading this investigation. So many people are mourning Janavi. We're going to be posting her family's full statement on our website, as well as details to a vigil that's happening tomorrow night for her. That's going to be hosted by Critical Mass Seattle. Once again, those details will be posted on fox13seattle.com. For now, live in Seattle, Nia Wong, Fox 13 News.